What's up guys, Jarvenus here and we're back again with another Zer video. So our friendly neighbourhood trash collector is over here on Titan again this week. So we're going to take a little look at his infantry and what little goodies that he has this week. So if we have a little look, so as usual he has the fated engram which is pretty steep. Um, at 97 legendary shards so if there's anything that you're still looking for your year one collection whether that be borealis then feel free to hit this up if you're on xbox one or pc if we take a look at the tractor cannon so we have here the scientific method so damaging an opponent temporarily increases speed and handling but the main perk is repulsive force so this weapon emits a powerful impulse that pushes enemies away suppresses their abilities and makes them more vulnerable to all incoming damage especially void uh, this is a bit of a trolley weapon it's a really fun weapon especially in pvp if you want to bot people off the edge but it's also really effective for bosses and encounters and things like that so it has much utility so if you don't have it it's definitely worth picking up it's very unique in the way it looks but it's also very unique in the way that you can use it as well. So if you don't have it, I definitely recommend picking this one up. For the Titan, then we have the Symphoseps this week. So I'm on my Warlock this week, so you won't be able to preview this one, sadly. So it has Bionic Enhancements as the main intrinsic perk here. So increase melee lunge range, improve melee and super damage when you're surrounded. So this is a really, really good exotic especially for titans in pvp obviously anything that increases their melee range is obviously a huge bonus um, it's very effective and does a very large amount of damage we have the fusion rifle loader here which increases the reload speeds we've got that for hand cannon as well the impact induction and we've got shotgun scavenger so hand cannon shotguns is a, a win on this set and you've got the heavy ammo finder so the perks on this and the roll is actually really good uh, so if you don't have this they're definitely worth grabbing those so we have the gemini jesters here for the hunter so we have misdirection as the main perk so dodging disorientates nearby enemies and temporarily removes their radar so it's a fun exotic um, again very pvp orientated and um, there are better boots for the hunter orpheus rigs probably being the preferred option we've got fusion rifle again with a hand cannon uh, bomber scout rifle scavenger on this pair instead and special ammo so slightly different to the synthesis in their role but it's a it's a different exotic so if you don't have them or want to try them out then it's worth picking up if you don't have them and finally the sanguaim alchemy so these are a warlock chess piece standing in a rift grants you and your allies heightened senses allowing you to retain your radar whilst aiming down sights additionally nearby powerful enemies are visually marked and can be tracked without line of sight so it basically gives you the ability to be able to see enemies not as good as the wish ender in terms of through walls but you do get a greater sense of their um, surroundings around you so it's a very effective very good again in pvp so much so that this chess piece isn't available uh, in some tournaments as a result but if you haven't got it and you haven't used it definitely worth grabbing it if, if you like we have the bows on here with the fusion rifle sniper rifle for the unflinching which is a must scout rifle and special ammo on this pair so again a very pvp focused to be fair most of these are very pvp focused this week in my opinion but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on these particular armor pieces and also where we're going to be picking up the tractor cannon because with any of these pieces it looks like we could be having quite a bit of fun in crucible or gambit this week so that really wraps it up for Zer this week let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on what he has at the moment. I'm hoping with the Festival of the Lost they might bring something new for him. He really, really needs it just to become a little bit more relevant for some of the longer term players. But let me know your thoughts. Nevertheless, I'm going to jump back into the game. But if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a rating below. And if you are new to my channel and want to see more Destiny content, then feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. But have a great evening, guys. I will catch you again very soon. Peace.